Hit me, hit me, hit me. Green, green. Let's go. Handles, handles, up court, up court. Green in his mouth. We actually won. Oh, oh shit. Get that back of that jersey, bitch. Double H. Oh, my that nigga sound God. like McGurk, bro. <laughs> hey, this nigga Henry's godly. I'm most definitely not getting a board over this nigga now. It's a GG. If you didn't know, bitch, it's sad if you didn't know. It will be FGE, but you heard all that shit before. I'm just focused on getting dope. So don't waste your time on my line. We can't kick it, ho. But these niggas be bitches, though. What is going on, guys? It's your boy, Henry. AKA Double H back at it with yet another video today. I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to win the Ruffles Bridge Challenge and how I won this past weekend. So let's get right into the uh straight into it. The first server I played on was Japan, right? And this is after the first game, right? I'm just gonna go straight into it and then we can explain uh deeper into it afterwards. So this is after the first game. It was a comp game, so we'd had to take mostly twos. I was ranked 14. Now keep in mind this entire tournament. I was top 14 the entire time This was the lowest I was ever at was 14 and it was because the comp game was first You know 14 and then after the second game I was third and my boy snagger who was the glass cleaner was one and I was running my pure stretch um and as you can see after the third game I was ninth and then from that we we played mostly comp in this server I don't know why but we were playing a lot of comp. Usually there's a lot of bums in the main servers, but in this Japan server, there's a lot of comp. And this is after the la the second to last game, right? The last game we played the team that was top four and the game didn't count. So this game was a comp game. So we were taking twos. And this is when I went from 11th to 10th place. I, I only We only got 78 points, but I snuck into 10th. And then the last game we played the best team, the top four team, and it didn't count. But when that clock hit zero, we ended up winning Ruffles. I won Ruffles, and so did my center. But my two guards did not. But anyways, let me explain it now. So usually in Ruffles, as you can see, you play a lot of comp, right? No doubt, you know, you play comp and Ruffles. I was playing comp and Ruffles before this um, Ruffles one that I won. You see, I was 24 in Europe server, um, even though I missed an hour. You know, I was even, as you can see, this is an Eastern server right here. I had a great start to Eastern server. I was number one in Eastern servers after the first game, and I was top 10 for a little bit. And then, you know, you get the dashboards, you get the friends arguing, you get all that. It's just not a good method, right? You have, this is, I'm gonna give you guys some tips right here. Tip number one, you gotta have the right squad, right? So what I was running was at the one we had a play sharp, right? Now the play sharp you want sitting in the corner, you know, he can bring up the ball sometimes. And then the other um, two uh, guys got to be shooters. It's got to be a pure sharp and a pure stretch or two pure stretches or two pure sharps. I would recommend at least one pure stretch. So I was the pure stretch and then we had my boy Cork as the pure sharp. My boy Handles was running the play sharp. And then of course you want to have a pure glass cleaner, just somebody that can horse up at the five that's where my boy snagger was at so uh the usually the glass cleaner will get the most rep and then the guy who's scoring a lot is gonna get the second the most points in rep obviously so and that's why snagger got i think it was fourth place and i got 10th place because i was scoring a lot and he was snagging a lot getting the team maker the two guards quirk was more of just that spot up guy and handles was more of the guy that's gonna go for twos against in comp games so let me go over that now Tip number two, you got to play differently between comp and regular uh, come up games. So when you play comp, you want to get that over that game over with immediately. You cannot waste time taking fours because then you're going to get cold and then it's going to be it's just going to be a long game. So in the beginning of the possession, you can look for a four. But once you see that two, you take the two as soon as possible. Even if you just have a pure, if they're guard, if they're if they're guarding three up, one back, you can just have a one of your sharps sit in the corner, and once he hits three corner wide open threes, hey, he's got his grand badge. And now, if you got even an inch of space at the four point line, you're banging that four point. Now, when you play the bums, when you play those come ups, I'm talking about the guys that are either old guards, they got shitty records, they don't have a center, um, or they have an athletic or just a Oh, a pure stretch the five or something just a terrible team right you're gonna want to take you're gonna want to look at that lineup right there's four guys on the other team 
Let's say they're running four pure sharps and then they got a pure slasher. Always look at the guy that's guarding the pure slasher on your team. Whoever is guarding the pure slasher. Now, hopefully it's one of your pure sharps or pure stretches. If it is, then that's fine. Take that pure sharp or pure stretch. Tell them don't play defense and cherry pick at the four point line every possession. Right when you guys get that rebound or stop, which is very important. You can't just leave them open. You got to play a two up, one back. Don't allow the fours. Get Once you get the rebound, RBX, RVB, whatever icon he is, immediately to the guy while he's holding B so he's staying in place. And then shoot that four and then drain that bit. But let's say the guy who's guarding the pure slasher is your play sharp or maybe even your glass cleaner. Tell the glass cleaner or the play sharp to guard um one of the sharps so your pure stretcher sharp can go and cherry pick if that makes sense now if you guys have any questions just leave it in the comments below if i'm not explaining this clearly but that's tip two on basically the how you want to run in ruffles how basically the strategy but anyways tip number three the squad you're running with so we already talked about what kind of lineup you want right but you got to have the right people using those players. And what I mean by that is the play sharp has to understand that he can't be jacking up fours, right? And the pure sharp and the pure stretch needs to understand. They first of all need to have, know, have, have enough skill to be able to cherry pick. And yes, I know that sounds weird, but there is, you know, some, you know, they need to be able to shoot on those laggy servers. They need to be able to zigzag. They need to be able to hold B. Um, be patient, shoot fours, not just hold X right before they shoot because then they might get inside the four point line. And that's very key. You want to shoot fours. You don't want to be shooting threes. You want all fours. That's the goal, right? Unless you're playing comp. But you guys, you know, the play sharp, once again, needs to understand that he can't be chucking up fours. He's got to sit in the corner. Comp games, he's got to be scoring those twos, you know, pick and roll with the glass. And then the pure sharp, pure stretch, like I said, they have to know how to zigzag, when to, when to shoot, how to shoot on delayed servers, and if they're not in delayed servers, they'll be fine. And then that center, of course, just needs to be setting big bodies, horsing up, and being able to score off that pick and roll and know when to cut in those comp games. Anyways, tip number four is your squad's attitude and mentality, right? So first of all, I have played tons of ruffles this year. Every time you, even if it, it just takes one guy on your team to ruin the entire event just like that, okay? You cannot have people complaining at each other, yelling at each other. You got to be as mindful as possible. You got to be as supportive as possible to your other teammates. He misses a wild shot. Just be like, you're good. Let's go with defense. Next play. That play already happened, right? You got to be doing that the whole game. That's what my four was doing when we won Ruffles. That entire team was very supportive. We were together those four hours, those very painful four hours, because yes, it was from 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. But another thing is you guys have to be prepared to get dashboard, to get lagged out, to be waiting to get in that server. It's taking too long. You guys have to be prepared for that, okay? Um, and we're going to be going into those when you lag, what happens when you lag out and everything. But you guys have to know that's going to happen. I know a lot of teams that just, oh, we got lagged out. I'm done with this shit. No, you cannot quit after you get lagged out. You're going to get lagged out in these servers. Unless you're on East, you're probably not going to get lagged out. West, yeah, you're going to get lagged out. Japan and Europe, you're getting lagged out a lot. You're getting waiting for opponent. It's going to be a lot of struggles. Let me just say that. But anyways, tip number five okay what do you do when you get dashboard or lagged out right so you guys just have to be basically prepared for anything you know sometimes after after a loss you guys just have to wait for each other to go so everyone sees each other and then click a to go to the next game right and that's why it's key to not or to not lose against those comp games and take those twos because then you don't get put out and then you gotta go back in but anyways you either want to have a friend this is the best way to do it have a friend or maybe another account just sitting in that server online waiting to send the whole team an invite so they can get these guys can get straight back into that server and start playing immediately right after you get dashboard or lagged out that is very key because when you guys minimize that time that you're not in a game that 
can come down to the wire. As you guys saw, I got 10th place. I was very close to not winning this event. Maybe if I didn't get in, load into a game fast enough or load into the server fast enough, we I wouldn't have gotten top 10. You know, that's just how things go. It's you got to be smart about these things. And that's why this is this tip number five is very important. But anyways, guys, that's it with the tips. Now, let's talk about me for a second here. So as you guys know, I was on my pure stretch for this Ruffles event and I was going crazy. You feel me? I was getting our team buckets. My boys, I'm going to let me shout out my boys really quick. I was at the pure stretch. My boy Snaggy was at that glass. He was horsing up. And then our boy Handles and uh, Quirk were, you know, going crazy on those cop games. They were hitting their open shots, um, and they were going crazy at the Garden. Now, unfortunately, they did not win, but hopefully they will win in the future. Um, but I did put my Ruffles boost on my glass cleaner, my two-way glass, which is now my main build. Uh, I'm going to make another video about my post score and uh, what I'm going to be doing with him. But... When I go for the next Ruffles, I'm probably going to put the boost on my pure stretch because, you know, he's just goaded like that. But anyways, do I notice a difference with these Ruffles boosts is probably what you guys are asking. Now, there's Ruffles boosts that you can, you know, win from Ruffles or from Gold Rush. You know, those kind of, they call them attribute boosts when you win them, right? Now, the regular boosts that you win on Spin the Wheel, they're just called boosts or that you can buy. I'll tell you what, I've used those boosts and I've used Ruffles boosts. There is a huge difference. Let me tell you that. That's all I got to say for this video, okay? Just know that it is not the same. And I know from experience and from the gameplay. But anyways, guys, if this video helped you out at all, make sure to smash that subscribe button if you're new. Turn on post notifications. And if you guys want to win Ruffles and you guys want to play randoms the entire Ruffles tournament, smash that like button so you can play them randoms. This is your boy Double H, and I'm out of here. Peace.